What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode, after smashing the British at sea, we're going to smash another one of their forces on the land under the command of Demetrius Thorne. So let's get at it. So this is one of the forces that is to the that is in eastern uh, Morocco. We've still got some rebels to deal with, but once we've got them secured, uh, we're going to be in a good position to advance along the coast of North Africa and seek to expand our hold. Well, not necessarily our hold, our uh, advantageous position against the Austrians and block off their empire with, uh, from, uh, from trade in the Mediterranean theatre. But first, we must consolidate our position in Europe and make sure that things go our way. So let's set up the artillery. I need to get rid of these horse, this horse artillery. If you guys, if you guys make horse artillery work for you, that is superb. All the more credit to you. It just doesn't really fit with my preferred style of play. Uh, yeah, it's just I don't think it works as well for me. But then again, I suppose a lot of you probably look at how I'm playing and think, Jesus Christ, what an idiot. And that's fair enough. But yeah, I don't, yeah, horse artillery. They potentially have their place um, early game. When your choices of artillery are a bit less flexible. But for the most part, I kind of feel that you've got enough things to play with anyway. You know, I've, all, I've never felt that. I've never felt short, if that makes sense, with my existing artillery setup. Run my light dragoons forward. They'll put a volley into colonial light. Destroy them. Their cavalry, their dragoons have dismounted, so that's going to cause their doom. These fellows get out of square, push up, join the main line. These militia are advancing, but when they get close enough, they'll be engaged with bow fire from the native bowman auxiliary. Make sure these dragoons are fire well off so they don't gun my general down. Charge these dragoons into the desert warriors. Same with these cuirassier. Hold the flank in. They're bolstering their. <laughs> they're double downing on their mistake, which is. That's their prerogative, but for the most part, not going to change the price of fish. Desert Warriors have been annihilated. Get the Crassier up. These fellows have a decisive position on the flank. You are engaged in the colonial line, which is great. Play Dragoons, advance up. Smack them into the 87. Need to be real careful about um, cavalry defences. There we go. You men fire it well on. Nope, you gotta stay where you are. Line infantry is shattered. The horse artillery is going to break. Need to keep an eye on them. Make sure we minimise our losses. Come on, secure, damn it. It's only two fellows, good. Okay, let's get this cavalry to run its way around. 
suppose these dragoons should be committed to chasing down the enemy as well. They're not really needed. Throw my troops into the melee. Artillery. Engage the 47th. Get in here. So they smash straight into our line, but it's not going to matter. Oops, artillery slamming home. Form line for battle. Position everybody correctly. Good, good. Hey, they eventually come back. Form the line. Excellent. Keep killing them. These guys are going to be tricky. Oh, I managed to save them. We need to keep an eye on these fellows so they don't run directly into the stake. So they did. We managed to reorientate ourselves. But they're going to chase after those guys. Gunners engage the 47th. So let pursue them and destroy them. Let's focus on these retreating units because you want to make sure we do wipe them out. Too late for them. Militia soon going to be gone. Excellent. Let's get everybody to work on this unit of colonial militia. I feel like my hands are all uh, clammy or like claw like. Keep on killing. Good wins, good kills, good kills against a. Probably one of the strongest British forces left they can put against us, to be honest. Adelante, en marcha! So you men replenish. Are you chasing down these rebels? You're chasing down Demetrius Thorn. Pangeas itself is still very unhappy. Let's exempt them from. Actually, no, once we kill their militia or kill their re rebels, they'll be fine. Let's get these ships of the line up to Portsmouth. Because part of what we're doing. I mean, you're under repairs. It Agadir, Agadir. We don't want to push you guys out into the open sea si, señor. against Murdoch, but we're going to want to do this like what we did before. We're going to have a, some ships 
or extra ships in as backup. Apart from that, everything's looking okay. Could do some upgrades, but it's kind of... I'm not going to worry about that a huge amount. And then what we also need to do... So we do have someone marching over towards Yankton to attack the Plains Nation's peoples. We do also want to stand up this force to be a bit more substantial than it currently is. Let's start to call up some support. So you will at some point need to push in towards Mexico and we've got some army standing by. They are growing in mass, and when they strike, they will strike hard. So we need to make sure we're doing everything we can to ensure our fleets, our fleets, and our forces are as strong as possible. I think as part of that, we need to re establish what our actually make sure you guys are stashed away we do have you here and you're I mean, if, if Spain decides to attack we're not going to be able to do it you're appropriate to be replenishing there let's get this sloop out Here. Let's put you in Cinemary for now. A few ships that are capable of doing something here, a few ships capable here. Strictly speaking, we probably want to combine. Although you are the junior. Admiral with the less experienced fleet. These ships consist of a number of veterans. Then you will be reasonably placed to try and attack this fleet and capture some of their ships. Yeah, naval engagements are going to be order of the day, maximizing our use of our fleets. I want a fleet to block off up here from both the British and the Austrians. But let's hit in turn because right now we're having to make some decisions. <laughs> when Mexico decides to strike, things could get a bit messy. But that's okay. Right now we're focusing on making things messy for our adversaries in the, in the European theatre. Ultimately, we're not going to be able to... It's going to be very difficult for us to actually bring them to their knees through economic means, because they're going to have a reasonable enough tax base. But I want to get to a point where our fleets rule the Mediterranean. Ooh, who's attacking St. Petersburg? Nobody. It's still Russian. Sweden's swapped some sh swapped some ships over, and is continuing on their uh, their plan to raid. So you've raided the mines, but I'm within range of these rebels, rebel scum. Just slaughter them. So you chaps approach the British from the west. Casabranca is repaired. I mean, ultimately, I'm just going to rebuild some industry buildings here. Let's recruit a militia unit to occupy this dockyard. I 
think it's the same. We want the same at Gibraltar here as well, in which case this sloop can occupy Casabranca. You guys make way down to here. Bring these heavy hitters over towards Oran. We're not in a position to make them kick off yet. We also need to uh, make sure our garrison at Gibraltar is reasonably strong. Should the Spanish attempt to try and attack it. The Ceylon's got barricades. Upgrade the road to Gibraltar. This force up here. I mean, the British have decided... Well, they, they appear to have ceased their operations against the city directly. But I'm happy just to let them keep kicking on. Rebellion in England, as to be expected. But uh, as a result of that, they have chilled out massively. So let's just advance up. Uh, to be honest, we should just probably... It's probably going to be an auto-resolve. Yeah. See, they've had this. They've had a little complain. They threw a tantrum and realised, actually, this isn't so bad. Uh, lots of these dockyards need repairs. Let's move Sacramento over to Newcastle. The army can head south. Let's get the British Isles firing on all cylinders. And here at Portsmouth, I know we can't recruit yet because the docks are still damaged. Down here at Sandy Bay, well, let's move the heavy privateer down to this fleet here. Let's start to build some extra ships. Recruit an admiral for you. Back to the Americas. You're going to recruit... I mean, you're going to recruit a bunch of ships, so I might just leave you to it. Well, actually, let's move Jerome Cotton out. One of these seconds can join. They can go back and the rest can go into Yorktown. Okay, you need to you can cease recruitment to your fleet directly. And bolster the fleets being recruited there. Excellent. Ultimately, let's keep you where you are. Rather than engaging the Marath fleet, let's make sure our drum beat around the rest of the world's name around the rest of the world's oceans is secure. So we can take this fleet. Get them to South America to replace that fleet on station. Oh no! Heavy first and a fourth with a large army aboard. That was a good, a good spot. Can you ships meet together? First rate can receive a field commission. Let's get him. Let's capture that fleet. I mean, the fourth rate can be cashed in. The first rate, the heavy first rate, is definitely getting brought into our fleet. It's unfortunate it means he's going to go first, so he's probably going to die. It's generally what happens. 
He steams straight towards him. We're going to clean your masts off. We're going to pound you into submission. Then you're going to join the Grand Colombian Navy. And you're going to like it. Our fleet has never been sea before. Well, they've never been in action before. I don't believe I can see what the veterancy is on your ship. But whatever it is, it will not match our guns, that's for darn sure. You can see the minute course corrections this thing's taking to try and stay ahead of us. Slightly more exaggerated now. it's going to matter. The melee is going to be joined and it will be brutal. Eventually at some point you will give up trying to match us and you will accept your fate and will turn in. You're on fire, you're on fire with one volley. Very suspicious to me. We're still firing shots into San Juan Batista. Four guns destroyed already. Price has lost uh, you know, two guns. It's going to slow her down. You're probably going to engage. Die the fourth rate. Okay, this heavy first rate. Start firing chain. As soon as we knock her sails out, we can just surround her at a time of our choosing. She's turning in. We haven't got lucky. Firing. Okay, fire it will again. These rear two ships break off. Leapfrog the fleet. Guns ready. The main mast is gone. As soon as we prevent her from being able to maneuver the way she pleases she will soon be ours get San Mateo to sail straight on ahead drop anchor and engage Freedom of movement.
Well, that's funny. You know, you continue to fly a chain, you fly a round shot. Push these two ships around. Actually, you might try cut around their stern. She's lost 11 guns. Stern because she's dismasted like a slovenly dog. Still isn't completely dismastered though, she still has some ability to maneuver. slamming shots into a hull now. She cannot manoeuvre. Things are looking pretty spicy for you, good sir. Ooh, close. San Julian's opening fire with their battery. Down, but he's not out. I'm gonna send some ships to continue engaging the fourth rate. Because Enterprise is not long for this world. She's being shot at from all directions. I mean, it's impressive that she's still kicking. But the rest of my fleet have just got her surrounded. We can tow her back to port and get her repaired. So from a little bit of a crossfire. Another broadside in. Huzzah! She has struck her colours. On with the next chap. ships move at speed. Let's see if San Mateo with a fully armed starboard battery can cut this fourth ray down to size. Fire as she bears. She tried. Okay, everybody go after this fourth rate at full sail. She contains on her an entire British army. Are you going to manoeuvre or try to manoeuvre into a firing position? Everybody's gonna try and fire. It's good to see everyone's gonna try fire a round shot. Which they will, but I think your job is to cut. Ignore what everyone else is doing. Keep moving straight in. Same with you. 
ignore what she may try and do in terms of firing upon everybody. We need to slow her down. So if, we, if we can capture her, the entire Royal Navy fleet is... The entire Royal Navy army is gone. She's in a crossfire now. There is her main mast. San Mateo, keep firing with round shots. Sailing at full speed. San Fulgencio is cutting ahead of her. They'll, they're frantically reloading, ready to fire another. This, look at this guy, he's, he's being risky. The guns are being run out. More hits, there we go. Excellent. Good stuff. So that is the entire British naval force destroyed. We don't need any more force rates yet. Add the heavy first to our strength. Bring this force back to Louisbourg for repairs. She go for repairs and pick up some third rate ships of the line while you're at it. Excellent. We do need I mean if we need a few more decisive victories here in Europe. I mean once we knock out this Royal Navy fleet, that will be significant. It'll free up both of these main fleets for action. This force this force is a very good force, but it's bearing in mind there's lots of Heavy ships out there. They're better placed for raiding and such like for now. Let's hit end turn. We are still very much in a place of... We need to keep growing our navy so that we, we've just got ships everywhere. There's always... We've got fleets everywhere that can respond to every emerging challenge. See, that Austrian Navy, look, that's not getting any weaker. It looks like they're going to attempt to attempt to break out soon. Russia's maintaining their offensive against Sweden, but seemingly not going very far with it. Persia has slipped into the Mediterranean. More naval manoeuvrings from Sweden. Hundred and six thousand. Iron Masters work at Inverness. Okay, keep everybody, everybody at work. Henry Cresswell has he's returned. So this fleet is going to move into a position to be ready. You men put in for hairs. I mean, you guys are up to no good. We should probably go in and sink this fleet as we've got, as it's there. Otherwise, it'll only just get joined with others. Okay, you can take three. Okay, I think I'm going to break up the, this fleet here and send you guys down to Demerara. So then you're at full strength. Excellent. 
dónde, capitán? You're trying to catch up with somebody who's not here anymore? So you're a full... St well, you've been repaired. There we go. Buy some extra ships. I think... I mean, obviously, we, we, we very much should. Must. Keep destroying these enemy fleets wherever they show up. So, one first rate, well, two seconds, and three thirds, and a couple of fourths. Yeah, we want to, yeah, it's, it's, it's part of gaining naval superiority in Europe, then we can focus more resources on India to try and achieve the same naval dominance there. Okay, what I might do... Oh, my admiral is going to be in the thick of it regardless. Something like this. We've got the weather gauge. We decide the engagement. Mumbai, Andamans, Tabar, Vinash, Gan. Ganja <laughs> and Poshak. A number of their smaller ships are starting to make themselves. Well, ultimately, because they're going against the wind, they have no. The smaller ships can't race ahead, so they are actually going to stay more bundled up than they normally would. Where they would tend to split up and go different directions, this time, no, they're going to. They're going to stay where they are. We are pushing in nicely. Sorry, now, my phone just <laughs> lit up. On, I've got to keep in touch with someone. Um, but right. The objective is just to keep chewing up their capital ships one by one we're not going to try and race past them we do want to push in and then sweep along like this so that we, we get a good gun position we just we can just eviscerate their leading ships as they come in and then capture them all of their ships third rate and above we will um, bring into our fleet and send back for repairs first rate Heavy first rate America leading the charge. Santa Clara. Most of these end up, uh, do appear to be my ships. Mostly. Yeah, my, my objective will be to just. Send the shoot a few ships past, set my line up so I can demast Mumbai before it even gets into the fight. Although they will very much soon turn, so we have to. I may have left the turn a bit late. But we've still got the movement and these light ships are very they are going to suck up our first broadsides compared to engaging Mumbai but that's okay yeah they're gonna they're gonna very much attempt to do the same thing to us they they're maintaining their turn yeah America is just gonna open fire against lots of these smaller ships Good hits on the hit, hits on the masts, but no no luck with the dismasting itself. 
this entire back line, which is quite common for me, break them away from the fleet, get them to make their own way into the battle area. Sales are fully exposed. Oh, I thought that was oh, the very top of one of the masts has been knocked out. The main mast is gone. Keep pummeling. The mizzen's gone. Try to get bumper to bumper. Stop blasting chain because the third rate is starting to push against us. Don't care about the fourth rate. They will be dealt with in time. Drop anchor. Shaken. The gun line is just in a really good position at the minute. No masts gone for Andamans yet. Oh, except for her main mast. Excellent shots. Pouring round shot into Mumbai every chance we get. Soon Mumbai is wavering. Routing surrendered. Okay, you. Turn. Just a little bit to try and engage Andamans. little sixth rates asking to be swept to pieces. Currently wavering. Nope, stay where you are. You're in a good position. Same with you. Maybe you guys actually turn this way. Pivot, looks like they're sending in the sloop to try and protect Andamans. Sixth rate surrendered. The fourth rate keeps putting shots into the head of America. That's fine. Oh, that was quite bad, actually. Let's move the ships along one space. Should you go here? Cut off. And the man's. Gallo Indiano lost a mast. fire chain to knock that fourth rate right down a peg or two. Right, 
on the side. Sweeping out the masts. There we go. You've... Tabar's turned head on, trying to get the other broadside to bear. And the man is looking a bit peaky. Routing. See if I can knock a mast off of Vinash. Well, the Vinash has lost the mast anyway. Round shot it is. Found him round shot. Ganja, the third rate coming in at the back. Still a second rate. Side of the back seems a bit vulnerable. I'm going to play a round shot. You're ready to try and dismast Ganja. Killed the enemy admiral. What ship was he on? Ah, Mumbai. Send these slow pokes down this way. give these guys an order to sail in a more direct position. Ganja lost the mainmast. And the mizzen, everybody else. We sail here with all speed. Vinash is wavering. Heavy first rate up front on fire. Vinash is routing. Okay, let's get this ship out of there. They've been badly damaged, they need to get out of the way. You push on ahead into the rear of Ganja. No longer on fire. Pummeling shots of the Ganja. Surrendered. Now the little bomb catch that could is still on the way. Okay, turn you back into the fight. Sixth rate surrendered. <laughs> okay, you guys, these third rates are not performing the same what I expect third rates to do. You're on fire. 
fire again. Getting close. No longer on fire. First rate, I want you to get in here and drop a tasty set of chain shot. This heavy first is gonna drop chain into Poshnek. Poshek. Try and engage my first if you like. Where aren't you? We we're just at the extreme of our range, but still within it. Keep parrying him from the back. Poshax lost a rear mast. Let's get Santa Cristo, the poor ass. One America, reload. Out another mast. She's routing. Get a ship over here ready to try and intercept. Engaging Ranjit with. Round shot from range. Santa Cristo is key to cut off Ranjit. Heavy first is badly damaged. Surrendered on fire. Get ready to fire chain into Ranjit. It's routing and on fire. Come on, America. You're my only hope. Set someone else to chase down to bar. Yeah, the fire bell's going out. That's range it, all right. Surrender. Excellent. Now oh, everyone's steaming towards Tabar, this fourth rate. It's done a lot of damage to America. It's turned, put some chain shot into those masts. Bad luck. Reload. 
Keep reloading. You're going down, son. It's heavy first grade, don't want none of your shenanigans. Broadside of chip, broadside of chain. The main mast is gone. Here comes the round shot. Everybody's gonna pound you around shot. It's a hell of a crossfire. There goes the mizzen. You're routing, but that's not good enough. You're gonna give up, son. There we go. An entire enemy fleet wiped out. And that's what I'm talking about when it comes to naval supremacy. You build a fleet so powerful, you just stomp all before you. Don't want the third, third, second. Don't want you, don't want you, don't want you. Sí. And these fellows fit into San Juan. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so now our fleet, well now our primary area is so sufficiently not under attack, we can have our trade fleet sit out in the, out in the bay. Okay, Straits of Madagascar. Do you have any possible enemies over here? Nope, this area is very, very stable. Meanwhile, the East Indies... Yeah, I want a fleet over here to replace Antonio Cruz. No, you have to keep the East Indies free. But I don't believe out of all of my fleets down here. Actually, you're in. Yeah, you're okay. Um, hmm. I think the fleet that we've got running around over there is not. It's not very good for us. And I think it's a bit. It's a bit stronger. Potentially a bit stronger than this one. So I'm going to send this fleet to Europe. Keep harassing the enemy there. I think all of our main fleets are undergoing repairs or not at full strength yet. Yeah, we dealt with you, Europe. You're going to head towards the Royal Navy stack here. You, good sir, are going to turf out the Royal Navy from Iran, where we've got the Victory herself is here. And a large number of decent ships, a couple of them are a bit knackered, but we've got overwhelming superiority. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Uh, hopefully, for the capture of HMS Victory. Cheers everyone.